Thank you for visiting West Coast Auto Enthusiast. Today we're featuring a 2015 Mercedes-Benz ML250 Bluetech. It's a 4 -matic. It's a single owner, clean title, clean Carfax car we purchased out of Texas with excellent service history on the Carfax report. Got a clean Carfax, clean title. We can finance it through Cuddle. Uh, we can put an extended warranty on it. We welcome trades. So this is our first 250. We were buying a lot of the, uh, the 350, the ML350 or the GL350s. Those have turned out to have uh, oil cooler problem leaks, which is not a cheap repair. Um, the 250 is an engine similar to what they put in, or it might be the same engine they put in the GLK, um, and they've had uh, much fewer problems with. So it's the first uh, ML250 we've bought. We bought it because of the optional equipment and uh, the price point. So if you're not familiar with these, um, we like the diesel for the torque, and this has got a towing package on it. Uh, we like it for the fuel economy, just because even uh, though this is a full-sized SUV, it'll still get around 22 to 23 miles per gallon around town, and in the high 20s or low 30s uh, on the highway. So uh, it's a four-cylinder turbo. You can see down there at the bottom, you've got a tow hitch on it. It's very well equipped. Uh, these were introduced as a 350. And then replaced, I think in, uh, I think it was 14, uh, the 250 replaced the 350. And um, we've had good luck with them so far. They've certainly, the 250 has been, uh, so you see you've got a spare tire. The 250 had been really good um, merchandise in the GOK and still is. So you got a power lift K. So anyways, cosmetically it's clean. It's got a really good service. Um, Showing on the Carfax, it doesn't need anything. It's covered under the Mercedes factory warranty until 50,000 miles or until I think September of uh, 2020, so another a little over a year. Um, and it's got I think 43,000 miles on it. So we've got Xenons on it. It's got track package on it if, uh, if you're familiar with that. That's a package of safety equipment that uh, Mercedes started doing uh, in I think around 13 or 14. Um, that's an estimate. I'm not sure about the start on that. This is also, it's got comfort access. So when you see an indentation in a Mercedes handle, uh, you can lock or unlock your car. Um, passive entry, comfort access, uh, smart key. There's got a bunch of different names for it, depending on what European manufacturer you're dealing with. So super clean, really well maintained. You know, most of the 15s you're going to be looking at probably should be clean. No surprise there. One of the things Mercedes um, changed up in 2013, which we really appreciate, is the two-tone now interior. And so just this small accent here makes a big difference. Uh, we originally saw it on the GOKs, which used to just be one color throughout the entire car, and they were terrible. And uh, so that's been a nice addition. So you'll notice the trim here, uh, wood trim the two-tone here and then you also like the center console makes a big difference breaking that stuff up so driver's side seat clean I mean there's no signs of wear and tear anywhere which again is going to should be typical of any 2015 or 16 you're looking at uh, center console no wear and tear so keyless go it's nice really nice option once you get used to that it's hard to go back so that just means you've got to have the key in the proximity of the car or on your person, so you can start and stop the car. You can get in and out of it uh, without using it uh, or getting it, uh, just having it in your purse or on your you know, persons. So passenger side door, passenger side seat, all very clean, standard sunroof. Uh, you can see that, if you can see the yellow triangle there in the, um, in the side mirror, that's an indication uh, for Mercedes. You've got blind spot monitor, which is again, part of the track package. So dash is in good shape. So again, a two, this is a two-tone, whereas normally that would have been all beige. Just the whole car would have been beige. Very hard to look at for long periods of time, in our opinion. Uh, so dual auto climate control. You've got dual heated seats. I'll turn the lights on. Uh, echo start and stop mode, which we don't like. Um, that'll turn your car off at lights and then turn it back on when you put your foot on the accelerator. Traction control and uh, DSR form of hill descent control. Um, so this is your media interface, been this way for a little while. Uh, radio, Bluetooth, navigation, backup camera, parking assistance, stuff like that. So let me get that off of there. 
Uh, so if you throw this in reverse, you're going to see your backup camera. This also has park assist on it, which you can see here. And then you can scroll to the right because it's got tow package on it. It's going to allow you to line that up uh, and check your surrounding. As you move your steering wheel, that line's going to uh, move to the right or to the left, depending on which way you're turning. So that's a handy option. Uh, there's your navigation. There's your Bluetooth. Uh, radio is standard. It's HD radio. Uh, See if I have, yep, yeah, HD radio. Um, uh, just regular sound system on that. Uh, I'm trying to think of anything else. So I think that's it as far as the media stuff goes. So multifunction steering wheel. So you do have a paddle shifter. You have an upshift on the right, a downshift on the left. Uh, volume control, Bluetooth activation, mute. Uh, voice activation here. This is your onboard computer stuff, a back button, power tilt and telescoping wheel and cruise, front and rear wipers, uh, automatic headlights, driving lights. You do have power folding mirrors, which is nice. It's uh, surprisingly not that common um, on a Mercedes product. You, know, you hit that and that just folds that in and that's really nice if you're parking in um, downtown areas or um, uh, parking structures with uh, narrow parking spots. Keeps your mirrors from being damaged. Uh, three buttons up here are programmable for security gates and garage door openers and you have uh, Mercedes Assist up here. Um, as I mentioned, standard sunroof. I'm trying to think if I missed anything. Oh, uh, so your onboard computer system is here. You can get that. Uh, you can get through that by toggling on your, uh, your steering wheel here. And if you go over to um, going to be settings or driver's assistance that's going to tell you the optional equipment and what's part of the track package so assistance graphic is the lines distance warning so you've got front um, collision warning active collision warning you have attention assist you have blind spot assist and lane keep assist so all safety uh, safety items which are nice and optional pieces of equipment on this car uh, which was one of the reasons we bought it so uh, USD or USB and uh, media uh, information there. You've got books. We do have uh, two master keys for it. Uh, I'm trying to think of anything else. Again, it is covered under the Mercedes factory warranty until 50,000 miles or I think uh, September sometime of 2020. Uh, we can extend, we can put an extended warranty on it out until 1,000 miles, which isn't a bad idea on a diesel product because um, it can be more expensive to work on in the long run, but they've also been more reliable and typically will last longer. Uh, if you have questions or like additional information, please feel free to contact us. We can be reached at 503-227-2354, and thank you for visiting West Coast Auto Enthusiast.